Recently, China Shipping, one of the world's leading container shipping companies, along with its customers, the Port of Los Angeles, regional transportation executives, city officials, and more, got together for a party. And there were plenty of great reasons to celebrate. The celebration marked the completion of a major phase of China Shipping's terminal expansion at the Port of Los Angeles. Phase two of a two-phase multi-year expansion project included a new 925-foot section of wharf, 18 additional acres of backland, and the addition of four state-of-the-art container cranes. Completion of this phase enables two container ships to berth simultaneously at the terminal, allowing China Shipping, a Port of Los Angeles tenant since 1999, to accommodate even more cargo through America's number one cargo gateway. I promised Chairman Lee and China Shipping that we would expedite the building of these terminals that we have. I like to say promises made, promises kept. The Port of Los Angeles has been very supportive to China Shipping's business. China Shipping using LA as its gateway, very important ports of call. And in the past, because of uncompleted terminal, China Shipping has using other alternatives. You know, this just to make all their service can be consolidated in one location and the operation-wise, it's more efficient for them. This event, which commemorates the opening of a new deep water berth for China Shipping, shows the industry that we're committed to growing this port. We're going to provide the facilities that our customers need in order to grow, and we're in partnership with them. When they do well, we do well. In addition to the new wharf expansion, there was yet another cause for celebration, as well as a huge sigh of relief. That's because, thanks to careful planning, when China Shipping's four new cranes entered the port's main channel after their 6,400-mile journey, they passed safely under the famous Vincent Thomas Bridge, clearing the span with just 42 inches to spare. Now that's amazing. And both the port and China Shipping still aren't done investing in China Shipping's future at the Port of Los Angeles. Over the next three years, 375 feet of additional wharf space will be added, along with two additional cranes for a total of 10, and even more backland space providing the capacity to move 1.5 million TEUs annually. The China Shipping executives are telling us that they want to grow in Los Angeles, that it is a key focal point for the development of their business, and we stand ready to partner with them to make it happen. Today, you can see a lot of vendors, you know, uh, that comes to this celebration because they have, they can make more commitment with the business of China Shipping. And one final note. China Shipping has been a true leader in operations and technologies to reduce air emissions and protect the environment. But that's nothing new. In 2004, China Shipping became the very first container line in the world to plug its ships into shoreside electrical power while at birth at the Port of Los Angeles. <laughs>